you can see the number of charges present in this region. If we need to find out the potential at point P due to all these charges, how do we do that? Hello, I am Jagdish Naik. In this video, we are going to determine the expression for potential due to system of charges at a given point. In order to find out the electric potential at a given point due to number of charges, we need to consider the individual charges as if other charges of the systems are not present. Then, using the expression we have already learnt in the previous video, point charge in the given point only electric potential and the find out the formula use made. Then using the principle of superposition, we are going to determine the expression for the potential due to a system of charges. I will give the link both in the description box and also at the i button for the determination of the expression for the electric potential due to a point charge. Please watch that video before watching this video. Point P the link. Electric potential and find out from each of the charges. Therefore, we need to determine the distance of each of the charge from the point P. Charge Q1 is at a distance of R1 from the point P. A line joining the charge and the given point. R1 has to distance a little. Similarly, if we draw a line joining the Q2 and P and assume that Q2 is a distance R2. Similarly, Q3 is at a distance R3 and Q4 is at a distance R4 from the given point P. We know that potential at a given point is nothing but the potential energy per unit charge. Other in the illi, both potential energy and the charge are scalar. Hence, the electric potential should be a scalar. If we consider the expression for the electric potential at a point due to a point charge, represented as V is equal to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught into Q by R. Chargerly, there are two kinds of the charges. One the positive charge, another negative charge. Here are scalar quantities. Jatege, potential is also scalar quantity. Hence, while determining the expression for the potential, we need to consider the polarity of the charge also. That means, if we consider a positive charge, then in the region of positive charge, electric potential will also be positive. Similarly, when we consider a negative charge, potential due to it will be negative. In this system of charges, some of the charges may be positive, some may be negative. Therefore, the net potential should be equal to the sum of both the positive and negative terms. Hence, we have to consider algebraic sum of the potential. First, let us consider the potential at P due to each charge. When we consider electric potential at point P due to the charge Q1 alone, assuming that other charges are not present. Then, we know that V1 should be is equal to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught Q1 by R1, where Q1 is the magnitude of the charge and R1 is the distance of the point from the given charge Q1. Similarly, when we consider charge Q2 alone, then potential at the same point P is given as V2 and that should be is equal to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught into magnitude of the charge q2 divided by the distance of separation between the point from the given point charge r2. Similarly, due to the charge q3, the potential at p is represented as v3 shown in this equation and also finally, the potential at p due to the charge q4 alone is represented by v4. All these expressions are obtained using the fact that the potential at a given point due to the point charge 
is directly proportional to the magnitude of the charge and inversely proportional to the distance of separation which is derived in the previous video. Now, since we are going to consider all the charges at once, then the net potential at point P should be algebraic sum of the potential due to individual charges. This principle is known as principle of superposition. That means we have to take the sum of all the charges as if they are acting alone on a given point. The presence of the other charges will not have any effect on the potential due to a given point charge. Mathematically, it is given as V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4. On the example, suppose Q3 matra negative, then the expression for the V will be is equal to V1 plus V2 minus V3 plus V4. Yakandre negative charge in the negative potential. This is the meaning of the principle of superposition. Now, if you are going to substitute the value of potential due to individual charges in the given expression, where V1, V2, V3 and V4 are as shown in the slide, then we will get V is equal to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught. Nalku termally common nagirvanta proportionality constant and now hargade vardu bracket olagade ratio of magnitude of the charges to the distance of separation between the charge and the given point. Adana varita idave which is represented as q1 by r1 plus q2 by r2 plus q3 by r3 plus q4 by r4. This is the general expression. It can be extended to any number of system of charges. Then we have to add one more term. When the charge and now will increase, potentially we can add term and add one term. For an example, now either the charge and introduce in this bracket, we have to add the ratio of the charge to its distance from the point Q5 divided by R5. That is, any number of charges we can write it will be is equal to Qn divided by Rn. Q1 divided by R1 in the Ide Riti now N terms, N terms and add Marti Deva. And of course, that should be it should be multiplied with the proportionality constant. That will be represented as the net potential. E termally yaya the negative charges is there, other create actor one the potential negative actor. For an example, illi Q3 negative with it will be represented as minus Q3 divided by R3. Q7 negative with minus Q7 divided by R7 T. The net potential algebraic sum For mathematical convenience, we can write it as V is equal to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught into summation of QI divided by RI. QI is representing the ith charge where RI is representing the distance of the ith charge from the given point. In the previous example, now different point charges are observed. That means we can exactly identify the position of a given charge. Q1 early, Q2 early, N early. But this now in the distribution of the charges are not The simple structure is the sphere. We can assume that a certain amount of charge, say capital Q, is distributed in this sphere. Andre, we cannot identify the exact location of the charges. Q amount of charges was to really distribute aggregate. Exactly L is the case. And also, for our convenience, if we assume that charge is distributed over the sphere uniformly, entire volume only uniform distribute aggregate. Now, assume Now, in order to find out the net potential at P due to the distributed charges, where the volume charge density of the given sphere is represented as rho. Now, entire sphere on infinite assembly small volume elements are divided like this, where each element will be having 
a volume represented as delta v students you have to remember that illi thorustaruvanta element will be having the same volume that means the charge present in each element is represented as delta q is equal to rho into delta v now we can identify the distance of this element from the given point p as r then potential at p due to the charge present in this element only is given by the expression v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into rho delta v divided by r similarly we need to consider the each of the element and prati on the element in the point p given the distance and i consider madbeku then using the principle of superposition we can find out the net potential at point p represented as vp usually this is very tedious process if we consider some of the regular shapes and also integration method we can find out the net potential at p more easily even then the mathematical expression for determining the net potential at p is again in accordance with the principle of superposition next we are going to consider a charged conductor previous case alli now on the sphere and i consider made there alli charges entire volume will distribute agidre illi now charged conductor and aste consider made when we consider the conductor we know that the charge q which is given to the conductor will only reside on the outer surface of the conductor that means inside the conductor there are no excess charges illi now consider maartta iruvanta conductor spherical shape alli ide ad radius r ide if we consider a point p which is lying well outside the spherical conductor then the distance of the point p from the center of the spherical conductor is represented as small r while studying the gauss theorem when we consider the charged spherical conductor we are going to assume that the entire charges given to the conductor which are residing on the surface of the conductor are assumed to be concentrated at its center and there according to the gauss theorem exterior point anna now consider madadaga spherical conductor anna now effectively one point charge agi replace aada hage assume madabodu that means all the charges are concentrated at the center of the sphere anta assume maadi now electric field anna find out madide ee video the link anna nanu description box alli and also mele i button alli provide martta idde watch that video also if we consider the potential at exterior point p then according to the gauss theorem sphere anna now point charge at the center of the sphere and assume madadaga the potential will be represented as v out that means outside point alli iruvanta potential will be is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r as we move towards the sphere the distance small r decreases therefore there will be increase in the potential the potential at the surface will be represented as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r now the question is what will be the value of the electric potential at a point inside the charged spherical conductor in order to find out that we have to consider the meaning of the electric potential at a point electric potential and reno it is amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to given point andre infinity in the nanu one unit positive charge and the point p dalli tandidlike assume that w1 amount of work aagta ide antadre that will be stored in the form of potential then similarly the potential at the surface is represented as the amount of work done in bringing unit positive charge from infinity to the surface of the conductor that means now infinity in the charge anna peak tandavaga w1 amount of work aagta ide allinda hage mundu bandu 
surface reach aadaga assume that w2 amount of work aagta ide antadre the potential at the surface will be equal to the sum of w1 and w2 total work done in bringing the charge from infinity to p then from p to surface we have to remember that here we are bringing the unit positive charges in the presence of the electric field due to the charge spherical conductor idr against work agiddo energy ag store aagtade but according to the gauss theorem the electric field inside the conductor will be equal to zero yavaga electric field zero agidyo then in order to move a charge from surface to a point inside the conductor surface in the conductor walgade move madbekidre we are not having any electric field electric field illa anthe idre illi now additional work madu avashyakate ne illa therefore the work done in moving a charge from surface to a point inside the conductor let us represent it as w3 it should be equal to 0 hence the net potential will be equal to the amount of work done in bringing the charge from infinity to point p is to work aagtade allinda surface ge is to work aagtade aamele surface inda insider iruvanta point ge where work done will be equal to 0 therefore the total potential will be is equal to w1 plus w2 plus w3 since w3 is equal to 0 the net potential will be is equal to the sum of the work done in bringing the charge from infinity to p then p to surface or in any charged conductor electric potential will be equal to the potential at the surface graphically now ee rite observe madabodu distance ge inversely proportional agirudrinda illi value of the potential kadme ide as we are approaching the surface the potential is increasing exactly distance r is equal to the radius adaga it will be reaching the maximum then adar nantra surface in the center ig move adru up to zero the graph will be a straight line parallel to the distance axis here x axis ig parallel agiruvanta ondu straight line barbeku so that surface alli matte inside alli iruvanta yavade point consider maadi the potential will be the same i hope you have understood the concept and finally the notes you can take the screenshot of this slide in order to write the notes nimige ee video informative and also useful anta anisiddalli please share my video like my video and also if you have any doubts write in the comment section thank you for watching this video